Hey, this is Taylor from Nuts of Bolt Speed Chain with a manual solution to Tim's speed challenge. Tim from Office Timeline said it would take an hour or two at least to turn this Excel spreadsheet into this PowerPoint graphic, and here I proved to you that it can be done in just under 12 minutes using just shapes, lines, and text boxes. Now, there's no talking throughout the video, just building out the graphic in real time, and I do make a few mistakes along the way that I have to fix, but that's just life.pptx. Now, besides the fact that most of this is being done from my keyboard, a few quick killer tips to keep your eyes peeled for are, number one, note that 15 seconds in, I'm using Excel to crank out the text strings I need for my dates. I'm not typing these manually in PowerPoint. Number two, note that four minutes in, I'm using ninja lines that cleverly align the odd sides of shapes. Number three, nine minutes in, I'm using the lock drawing mode to insert all of my lines for the time band in one go. And number four, note that 11 minutes and 44 seconds in, I'm done. So from one to two hours of mind numbing monotony to just under 12 minutes. That's PowerPoint speed training at its best. Now granted, there's some serious flaws to building out a Gantt chart like this the way I did, but I'll point those out at the end of this video. For now, let's just build the slide.
So that's building out the graphic in just under 12 minutes using the speed training techniques that we teach in our courses. So no add-in or special software needed. That said, if you build lots of Gantt charts like this in PowerPoint, I recommend getting the Office Timeline add-in to do 90% of the heavy lifting for you. Like number one, building the entire Gantt chart out in less than 30 seconds. Check out our other video here. Number two, maintain perfect data alignment along the time band. When doing this manually, you're forced to guesstimate where things start and stop, which is not ideal. Number three, make fast sweeping updates instantly, like changing the time band from months to years to weeks and back again without doing any calculations. See our other video here. And finally, number four, build the entire graphic out in less than 30 seconds. Yes, that's a repeat, but it's worth repeating. The golden rule of speed training is never do anything manually that PowerPoint will automatically do for you, right? So if the office timeline add-in can do it perfectly for you 24 times faster than you can do it yourself, why waste any time or effort, especially when you can freestyle format the results after the fact? Yes, the full version of the add-in costs some money, but it will more than pay for itself in time savings with the very first graphic you build with it. To see a link to the office timeline add-in that I highly recommend or check out our speed training courses, check out the links below in the description box. This is Taylor from Nuts and Bolts Speed Training, and I'll see you at happy hour. I'm going to click to the next window where I have even more formatting options. For now, I'm just going to click OK. The add-in goes to work, and boom, there is my Gantt chart from the Excel data here in PowerPoint. The only thing, I'm going to close this, this task pane over on the right. The only thing you'll need to do from here is come to the Home tab, apply your layout. I'm going to choose the title with footer layout.